Mr. Beast just sailed on a $1 billion super yacht, and this is the stupidest cruise ship ever built. Mr. Beast was on Harmony of the Seas, but he's working with Royal Caribbean to advertise for Icon of the Seas, the newest and largest cruise ship in the world. Icon of the Seas has all the worst aspects of a cruise ship, all of which I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. There are so many choices when booking a cruise, so we default to the biggest and shiniest new ship. You have to understand that Royal Caribbean thinks you are stupid. Before I get into that, if you want to get smarter on cruise travel, make sure you subscribe to Vessel Vibes and visit secretcruising.com to see the best cruise deals in the world today. Now problem number one, Harmony and Icon of the Seas are two of the largest cruise ships in the world. Make no mistake, when you hear biggest cruise ship in the world, imagine just a massive alarm telling you that this ship can't go anywhere. If these ships get any wider, they won't even fit in the port of Miami. At this point, only a few ports are big enough to support ships this big. Think of all the tiny islands in the Caribbean, remote little coastal towns off the beaten path. Places that are pure paradise, like St. Bart's or Joost van Dijk, never on Harmony, never on Icon. These ships can only go to a few places, and what a shame, because they are ships. Ships are about traversing the seven oceans, going on an adventure, and exploring the world. Not on these ships. These ships will basically never even go to the Pacific Ocean because they can't fit through the Panama Canal. So they'd have to go the other way, around the Cape, and Royal Caribbean is never going to pay for that. In fact, any cruise ship that's as big as the Oasis class can't even go to Alaska, or most ports in the Mediterranean. In reality, Royal Caribbean now has five ships that can't even go to the Pacific Ocean. These ships are pathetic. And it gets worse. Ships as big as Harmony kill a ton of sea life. Even of the few ports the ships can go to, they're never deep enough. For these massive ships to dock in the few ports they can go, they have to dig out seabed by dredging. So they destroy coral reefs and habitats and kill a ton of sea life to make the port deep enough. Bigger ships also displace more water. This creates a wake that injures or kills marine life, including dolphins and sea turtles. Royal Caribbean builds bigger and bigger ships that kill more and more sea life. I don't know whoever said a bigger ship is a good thing. They are obviously way too crowded. Icon of the Seas will be the most crowded cruise ship ever built. With passengers and crew, there's going to be nearly 10,000 people on board. But more importantly, what cruise lines don't want you to know is that they're taking cost optimization to the extreme. So let's talk about big ship design. You might think that since it's a bigger ship, the cruise line had to spend more money on the ship. And since they're spending more money, the experience would be better for guests. After all, bigger ships also mean more costs for cruise lines, including more food and more fuel. But don't be fooled. These gigantic ships are cash cows for cruise lines. If cruise lines could get away with a giant floating rectangle and call it a cruise, they would. The bigger the ship, the more people they can pack on board, and the more money they can make per mile. Smaller, better designed ships are more comfortable for guests and can get into better destinations, but they don't make as much money, so Royal Caribbean doesn't like small ships. And it gets even worse. You can actually see how Royal Caribbean packs people on board. You may have noticed that this ship looks like a giant mushroom. The staterooms protrude over the side of the ship on both sides, wider than the hall itself. Royal Caribbean knows their ships already don't fit anywhere, but they don't stop there. They keep the hull just narrow enough to squeeze through the few remaining channels the ships can fit. But since the staterooms are above the waterline, they make those wider. Look how the staterooms extend out over the side of the base. This means they can pack on more cabins, they can pack on more shops, they can pack on more bars, and they can make more money. And take a look at Central Park on Icon. Why even bother with the Central Park layout on this ship? It's clearly extremely narrow and they're extending way over the side of the ship to compensate for lost cabin space. It looks like they didn't even want Central Park, but they just made it narrow enough to get away with it. 
It's laughable. This thing looks so stupid, which makes sense because Royal Caribbean thinks you're stupid. Icon of the Seas is one giant gimmick. They just keep adding junk to this ship in a desperate attempt to get people to book. Just look at how cluttered and fat this thing looks. There's a thousand slides. Look at all these ridiculous colors. Look at the random carousel. Look at the junk everywhere. They act like everyone on board is four years old. It's a big floating daycare. It reminds me of that scene where Shrek and Donkey go to Lord Farquaad's castle and it's just this big, cringy, ridiculous place. They even say Duloc is the perfect place, just like how Royal Caribbean always says you're going to have a perfect day. They think you're stupid. And I like water parks and things that are fun, but consider MSC. At least the color scheme blends in with the ship and it looks nice. Royal Caribbean just plops on more and more colorful junk in a desperate attempt to get you to book. It looks like a giant disgusting lasagna. You see, everything is bigger on Icon. There's a new Aquadome. It's this big new facade at the front of the ship. So the biggest ship in the world has the biggest waterfall at sea. And it's like, who cares? What value does it add to anyone to have the biggest waterfall at sea? No one asked for a waterfall, and no one cares how big it is. The idea with the Aquadome is that it's an indoor version of the Aqua Theater on other ships, and they put it indoor now because of the weather. They might as well just put a bubble around the whole ship. Make sure no one's exposed to the outdoors because bad, scary things can happen outdoors, like rain. And the front of the ship has the most pitch. If they're not canceling shows for weather, they're going to end up canceling shows due to rough seas. They can't have performers doing flips and dives in the Aquadome if they can barely stand up. There will be seven pools on board, including the largest pool at sea. There's a pool for every mood they're saying. In reality, you're not going to find an open chair at any of these pools, and there's going to be people everywhere. And with thousands of people, you'll definitely be swimming in someone's pee. But whatever. It's called Chill Island. Very creative. This is the closest humanity has ever been to the ship from Wally. Icon will also have the largest ice arena at sea. Who cares? Like, why would anyone care? And look at this ultimate family townhouse. Oh, perfect! Another slide. And it only costs $75,000 a week. A perfect family vacation. Other rooms on Icon start at well over $2,000 per person. You could go on pretty much any other cruise ship and get a better price. One thing's for sure. There's going to be lines for everything. The buffet, water slides, dinner, getting on and off the ship. It's 10,000 people. If you're sailing on the largest cruise ship in the world, you're signing up to stand in line. Icon of the Seas is stupid. Don't waste your money. This ship is way too big and way too expensive. Icon will be extremely crowded. She can't actually sail anywhere, and she's very ugly. Mr. Beast wants you to sail on gigantic ships like Icon and Harmony of the Seas where everything is bigger, more superficial, and more expensive. If you know anything about cruising, you should be offended that a ship like this exists. Royal Caribbean thinks you are stupid. Don't fall for it. To learn more cruise tips, check out my other videos, and please show your support by liking and subscribing, and thanks for watching.